21 minutes after 9 o'clock. That one's a thinking man's joke. Sometimes people, I don't get that one. It's like, mm, call me the wind toilets. Think about it. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Those poor girls and what they had to wear. Yeah, wow. exactly. Woo! But uh, joining us in studio this morning from the Roswell Community Little Theater, Lethia Hartwell with us, and from Qantas uh, here in Roswell, Lori Schatz back with us. Good morning, guys. Good, Good morning. morning. How's uh, life treating you? Good. 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 Busy. Busy, yeah. I know. Busy. Uh, uh, yesterday, um, Doug Austin, he, he comes in on Wednesdays to record a commercial for his church. Uh-huh. Of course, Doug is a member of the Qantas, if, for folks yes. that don't know. But uh, I guess Doug was in charge of counting golf balls and stuff yesterday. And so <laughs> after his time uh, with us recording, he had to go count like a thousand golf balls. Yes. <laughs> wow. He's in charge of that project, which is also happening on Saturday yes. at noon. So, yeah. Can you still get a golf ball? Uh, you sure can. Doug can Doug still count a few more out if we need to? He, uh, yeah. Well, we have a thousand balls. He's okay. supposed to be counting whether we've sold a thousand tickets or not. Okay. I don't think we have. Yeah, okay. but we are close. So, okay. yes, you can still, as far as I'm concerned, you can still buy a golf ball. Right. It's $10. Yeah. You don't have to be present. First prize is $600. Second prize is $400. Yeah, and then you got gift cards up to, like, sixth place. Like six, yeah. Sixth yeah. place oh, gets wow. prizes. Cattle yeah. Baron is the sixth place. Yeah. So we have Target and then one. the gun store. Okay. Yeah. Uh, gun store. $10. dollars and $10. Yeah, $10. And you do not even have to live here. I, I would say that yeah. 90% of my tickets are people that used to, you know, come to me yeah. and say, can you buy this for my right. kiddo? So I called all my friends in sure. Indiana and Ohio and said, guess what? I need ten dollars from you for this fundraiser. It's, it's great because because that money, that that the proceeds from that from the golf ball drop are going to the Qantas, which goes towards the all inclusive part. Right. One hundred percent of that mm-hmm. for that for Roswell. Awesome. So folks in Indiana, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now if one of them win, that's gonna be a real Well point. they made out, but you know, right. enough Smell of them. It. Then, uh, you know. Right. I'm pretty sure that if they'd win, a ninety percent of them would say just keep the money for your park. Well, so if they went like say the great. Cattle Baron gift card, what are they gonna do with it? They're gonna that? give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then Lori's gonna take us all to dinner. No, <laughs> well, they'll come visit you. Oh, that's true. Maybe they'll come well, visit you. Oh, there you me. go. And say dinner's on me. It's your gift card. <laughs> but I did it. I sold a lot of tickets only because I would say oh, you're coming to the concert. Sure. And the concert is this Saturday, and the, the same day. And that's where we want to get folks to come out. We that's got, right. Right. Um, it, we got a great show now. The now the now this is another fundraising event and now the Qantas and the Roswell Community Little Theater have partnered together. So right. so uh this the the proceeds are going to get split right down the middle. Yep. Uh, obviously the half for Kiwanis will go towards the all-inclusive park. The half for the Community Little Theater is to uh, replace the roof over their head That's at the right. theater. I thought That's of you right. a few days ago when it rained. I went if yeah. I oh. I'm like, is it strategically bucket planning? <laughs> well, yes. Good news That's is, where it was at my last theater as well. So. Good news. I don't see any rain in the forecast for the weekend. So, That's good. so uh, Simon and Garfunkel should not, you should not need not an umbrella good. to come to the show. If we were doing flash dance, that would be great. <laughs> 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 But but for folks that don't, it's a beautiful theater. It's a mm-hmm. it's the old Park Twin. It used to be right. a movie theater uh, prior to that, and then uh, uh, when when uh, Allen Theaters condensed all of their theaters to the Galaxy Eight behind the mall, right. uh, the Community Little Theater for many years called that building behind uh, Roswell Ford their home. Which I still I still think it's got your painting it in it. Yeah, yeah, there. I think it's still there. But yeah. for I don't know about ten years now, you guys have been in the in the Park Twin. Yeah, a little bit more than ten years. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. a little over ten yep. years now, and they completely remodeled, renovated it, made it yep. in because it used to be two theaters. Yep. It was two Added movie screens. On. So so yep. it's so now it's like uh, one big theater for the audience. But then they've got the whole world behind where they keep the the costuming, which is if you ever get a tour back there, go get a tour. They'll they'll be happy if you were interested. They they got a lot. I mean, they need so when you donate your old couches and clothing and uniforms <laughs> and stuff like that. That's where they keep all that stuff as, as much as they can. I mean, there's only so much room back there, but but they kind of have to keep. I mean, because who knows? Maybe the play's gonna be from the 40s. Maybe the play's One gonna be from modern junk times. Junk is a theater's treasure. Yeah. Is what right. I always say. Like a lot the, of the times. tubes, like the cardboard tubes that people throw away. I'm like, yeah. no, yeah. you know how many things we can do with that? <laughs> right? Like, don't throw them. Can make so many things. Yeah. Right. yeah. So. So that's what they. So so that so so when you come out to the concert, the 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 the. the um, I mean, the little theater's half will go to help preserve all this stuff preserve by all that. fixing that roof. And 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 here's the the caveat that the community little theater and really anybody's been facing: um, we're coming out of COVID. So for the last basically two years, yeah. the community little theater's been very limited on what they can do there as far as generating income. And and beyond. And the only way, I mean, the, 
they, we've got some great donator, donations and great businesses that support. But at the end of the day, the bread and butter of the Community Little Theater is you guys buying tickets and going and seeing shows. Um, can't do that because of COVID. So we got a roof that doesn't care about COVID, does care that uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get worse and worse over time here. Yeah. Um, so events like this are much needed to help preserve more shows in the future here. So, right. so come on out, uh, check out this show. Uh, I, I have been saying this a hundred times, but young folks, you too will understand and appreciate mm -hmm. some of the music that's coming from this. That's I know a lot fun. of people think Simon and Garfunkel, they think folk music, very niche market of people that like folk music. That's not, you know, most people are like, all right, uh, I'm not 60. I'm sorry. It's not my thing. Who's the one that redid <laughs> The Sound of Silence? That was uh, disturbed. 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 Yeah. So if you've ever heard that, but even then you have heard, and I like their version actually better than Simon and Garfunkel's. Although Gar Simon and Garfunkel wrote the song, well, it's a little so. more haunting their yeah. version because it's it's more. They get angry, and that's what I like. Well, it, it almost, <laughs> but it almost has uh, like if if classical music did a version mm -hmm. of Sound of Silence, yeah. I think it would sound like the Disturbed version, mm -hmm. whereas the Simon and Garfunkel sounds a folk version yes, of it, right. like. You know what I mean? Where it disturbs a, medi a heavy metal band for folks that don't know. But he has got an awesome range, yeah, though. Yeah. That guy is. By the great. way, he's got a knack or a thing for doing eighty songs. Oh, does uh, he? He's done, <laughs> yeah, because um, like Disturbs got about five or six different remakes. They did a Phil Collins song. Mm -hmm. um, I need that one. Uh, they did um, like an arrhythmic song. I think there's like three huh. or four songs they've redone. That's cool. from the eighties that are in there. But yeah, Sound of Silence was is obviously the Simon and Garfunkel, but. But even still, Simon Garfunkel has a thousand hits. That's the one that mm -hmm. you, a lot of people know. But it's also an influence thing. Like, like if you look at the bands of today, and I don't care what what genre, folk or even country rock. Right. Without Simon and Garfunkel, you don't have that. If that makes sense, mm -hmm. like you can't get to right. ACDC or even you know, we'll say Imagine Dragons, something more modern. You know, you can't get there without. The work that Simon and Garfunkel the did, yeah, right. it's it's, and that's why musicians are yeah, so agree. study of music history. You know, it, it's hard to catch a, an actual musician and, and say, hey, "What kind of music are you into?" It's like, okay, why well, play rock or country? But right. but my influences are jazz, country, uh, you know, whatever. And this duo is really interesting because. You close your eyes, they sound just like them. But it's not two guys. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, so it's, 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 a, it's, it's a married it's, couple. Right. It's a married. They just got married, actually. So it's a married couple, and but it sounds just. I mean, her harmonies so are cool. just spot well, on. So. If you're trying to, because because like you said, it's Simon Garfunkel. Certain, you know, there's diehard fans, and there are people like, okay, it's my dad's music or my mom's, <laughs> music, you know. But but what I would say is go go do a do a Google search or whatever or YouTube or wherever you go to look for stuff. Right. Uh, do a Swearingen and Kelly uh, mm -hmm. look, and and you will see that they 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 got a, they've done an amazing job with their production on a lot of their stuff. Some of it's kind of them in the studio winging it. Other it's more official videos and right. things like that. Right. But all of it, you see how talented and it's these different two are. Yeah, than than, yeah. than what is usually brought to yeah. Roswell. I mean, I know that you've had Clint Black at the Pearson, and I know that Josh does great work over at the Liberty, but it's completely, this is something that is different. We're trying not to... You know, copy those that have, have come before us, but sure. to offer the community something, something different, different. Well, yeah, to a different population of sure. people that may not go to those other places. Um, and this is really interesting: is that it's not just a concert. Mm -hmm. We are having a silent auction that goes with it. Oh yeah, there's a wine and dining wine. and swag right. and all kind of stuff. There's yeah. a wine yeah. pool that's going to happen, so you know you're going to get a bottle of wine if you do the twenty dollars. Right. Uh, they have a bottle of wine that's forty five. It's worth forty five dollars nice. and a bottle of champagne that you could get. Right. Um, and if you're a VIP, which has turned out to be a really hot item, you're going to get the taste of Roswell. Yeah. So we'd like to thank Peppers, Portofino's, Backdraft, and the new restaurant, Bewitched, are all yes. sponsors that are going to give us yeah. food I'm, for this event. I'm anxious so. to, I haven't had a chance to go there yet, but I've seen their menu and seen everything, and mm -hmm. it, it looks pretty tasty. They kind of... She, they've got unique spins on, you know, classics and things right. like that. It's really and Carrie good. is part of the Autism Society, and okay. she started, um, they started raising money for the park two years, I think, before we jumped on board. She was in the get-go so, from the beginning. Right, so, so that's it's great. really exciting to be able to include them as well. Again, it's an all-inclusive park, so it's all children. Yeah. It doesn't matter, but the focus will be on autism. And um, so, yeah, so we're really excited about what's happening. Cool. We're well, a, a, a tiny little worried maybe last week, um, but the phone number that you call is me. Okay. And I actually get online and 
And we've been in contact almost every day. Like, <laughs> I don't understand how their website works. So I'm like, why? I sold these tickets and they're red. Why are they not white? And blah, 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 blah. So we got to complete all that. the sale. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> so it, it, it got Computer all updates, out, but so. still takes a person to put in the information, I guess. But if yeah. you're interested in the VIP, especially at the 730, we have 10 tickets available. So, so get them get now. Yeah. Uh, now, now uh, th- this is different than, than on other shows at yes. the Community Theater. This is a reserved seating show. Right. Yes. Uh, $28 is is the if you just want to get a reserve general mission, general mission mm-hmm. reserve seat right. but if you're willing to pay $40 right. you'll get uh you'll get a seat in the preferred seating section which uh is not the front row you won't be craning your neck the whole time it's it's right. it's few rows back it's it, and, and I ain't got I'm not going to lie to you you can sit anywhere you want in that theater and you've got a great seat right. so it doesn't it, it, there is no bad seat in that theater it's about 200 people and and uh, if you have problems seeing and hearing it, uh, I don't. I, we'll, we'll make arrangements, but you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But what? Uh, but you'll get uh, preferred seating, and then, like you said, you get the the taste of Roswell here, and it comes with a you know. And you com- also get to meet Sarah and Kelly before the concert. Yeah. So they'll come out. They'll come out intermission. Uh, they'll have their CDs and different things that they're gonna their swag that they wanna okay. they wanna sell. But you get to meet them uh, before the concert. So Regu- if, regular folks get to meet them after. So if you have so. any hope or desire of hoping to get a request, that's yeah. your maybe your uh, only opportunity right, right, is exactly. to get a VIP. So if yeah. you're like saying, can you do do you guys do this song? If you could work it in, I'd and be VIPs a happy VIPs can come yeah. at one o'clock, um, and they can show up as early as six thirty. Now you don't have to. We have a special room where the VIPs will be. Will have their their eats and their drinks. Okay. Can mingle, um, and... and they can bring that out to the lobby where we'll have our silent auction mm-hmm. and the wine pool. Yeah. And they will be going. Both those things will be going on for intermission. So once intermission is over, the auction is over and the wine pool is okay. over. So you need to get get out there or come early and see what we have. Okay. And then once intermission is over. We'll put your name on a board if you've won. Okay. And so you'll know to stay to pay for that. Good deal. Um, if you don't win, we were just discussing this, um, and it's money you put aside for one of the groups, right. please just make that donation. So okay. if you've had $25 and you didn't win the voice lessons from Jessica Kirk, that's fine, but maybe you want to help with the roofing. And mm-hmm. so you're going to go up to them and say, this is my donation. Yeah, absolutely. So, so that's what we're hoping people will do at least. Uh on that evening, we have a lot of uh, different things happening as well. Uh, we have, uh, she was formerly Diamond Miss that okay. helps with a lot of volunteering here yeah, in town. She's yeah. going to be introducing the act. Okay, so she'll um, be your kind of your MC. Kind I guess of you the MC. Say. I wasn't yeah. sure if I'd be on my walker or what I would be, so I had I had her lined up. So Get your be walker and bedazzle it. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Take the tube we're talking about. We can put right. some glitter. And we can so, get y'all dolled up out there. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a, a great, full, fun day. I'm sure the two of us are going to be very exhausted by the yeah. end of the day, but that's okay. It, it's going to all be worth it by the end. And we're hoping um, by the maybe the end of next week or the following week, we'll have another big announcement okay. to tell people about. Good, so good. There's, there's other things in the works uh, with Best Shots Productions and and the theater. That's so. great. That's cool. well. It, it's a good partnership because uh, mm-hmm. you know we uh, both are community oriented, community centric, and exactly. And and, um, and both uh, both need your support, and both are very important to support others in this community. I mean, so it, after our event this Saturday, you have an event coming up in December, right? That you're in rehearsals for. Uh, yes. Yes, we are in rehearsals for Mother Goose Gets Eaten by Werewolves. Yes. And we open, it's a deep story. Yes, <laughs> so deep. Yes. It's a fun. It's a fun play. Um, actually, Mother Goose kind of finds out they're using real werewolves, and oh. so she takes off. Okay. So she got to regulate. Right. You're messing she's up like, my fairy tales. She's like, here. I ain't doing this. You know. <laughs> anyway, um, That's and cool. so there ends up being um, some other fairy tale characters in the audience, okay. and they decide, well, let. We'll tell our stories. All right. So they tell four different versions of Sleeping Beauty, and it's super cute. That's fun. It's fun. It's a lot yeah. of fun. We're doing it with adults, um, so it, it's got a lot but of jokes sounds, and gags. It and sounds like it, it'll work either way. Like, if yeah. you're an adult, you're going to appreciate because the humor is going to be right there. Right. But obviously, we're talking about fairy tales and Mother Goose, so right. the kids will uh, totally appreciate it as well. Kids. So so they'll yeah. appreciate the, the actual Mother Goose stories of it and the adults. Right. It's kind of like Shrek. You know, right. when you watch Shrek or something like that where it's for Very the kids. But, but a lot of the jokes the adults would appreciate. Right. You yeah. know, you it know. has a lot of really great adult jokes that 
I don't. I think we'll go right over kids' heads. But, <laughs> you know, it's just funny, and there's a lot of uh, physical humor. In okay. It too. And this uh, when's the opening night on that? We open December third. Okay, and we'll be the the like normal the two right. weekends, the like Friday Saturday evening performances, a Sunday matinee that first weekend, and then the, the right. weekend after. Correct. Um, look for tickets soon, or are they on the on They're the website They're already now? on the website. You can get them now if you want. Okay, RoswellTheater.com is the website. Right. Make sure you spell theater like live theater, T-H-E-A-T-R-E, not the eater. Right. Um, that's that's <laughs> Old a English. spell, movie Old theater. English, yes, yeah. Old, Old English. English. <laughs> um, yeah. But, and you can also get Simon Garfunkel <laughs> tickets there as yes, well. Get the tickets. Right. Or you can call 575-513-8119, and I'll be happy to sell you some tickets. I, I tell you, it's going to be a fun show. I, I, people, yeah. It's going to be one of those things, I think for certain people, they're going to go in thinking it's going to be quiet, folksy, and, and then they're going to go in and be like, holy cow, that was not, it, it's going to be lively, fun. Well, we're trying and, to make yeah. it an event, so yeah. it be right. a little different. I don't know, have you ever had a professional show at the theater? Have you ever done it this way before um, to my knowledge no but i i, I don't know for i would sure. say never say never because i seem yeah, like exactly. there's been something there sometime i yeah. think there's been something way back yeah. before my time uh-huh. maybe a little theater's been but there a long time it and, has oh yeah we're, we're 60 63rd season yeah so. uh, and and to be wow. honest you you guys have a great board of, of people that really have to do their thing to Make sure that thing stays afloat and yes, keeps going. Yes, I do and, have an incredible board. And uh, <laughs> they've had to make some magic happen this yeah. last two years to yeah, keep yeah. things going. So so please, come out to the show. Come help. Come support, but come and have a good time. Because, right. um, you know, I highly recommend shell out for the $40 VIP uh, experience. Right. Get your eat on. Get your drink on. Get your fun on. Come out and make it a date night. Yeah, the kids aren't going to be into Simon and Garfunkel. Well, keep them at home then. And you come out. And we're doing and a have... 2 o'clock show as well. Yeah, We've gotten so... a lot of compliments, um, actually, from Roswellians, more right. than Artesians. Okay. Because we do have some Artesian people coming uh, on Saturday as well. But a lot of people said, we're so glad you're doing a two matinee. Yeah. And, I know what they're and doing. we know it's the time change weekend. Oh, that's but right, Sunday. But you get on, an hour. It's yeah. a good one. You get so, an extra hour, so you can stay right. out an hour exactly. late. Exactly. Yeah. So um, we're just really, I'm excited that the 2 o'clock is being so well received. And yeah. a lot of people have thanked us for for, for offering that. So yeah. they can be home. I know my friends from Artesia, they're not just coming to see the show, but they're going to spend, uh, they're going to they're gonna stay here and have dinner. Okay. So we're helping your con- economy well, as well. Well, I I think when you said a lot of the Artesia and Roswell, I say, well, I know what's going on. The Artesia folks are shopping during the day, and then they'll have dinner and then right. watch the show right. that yep. evening. Which yep. We love to have you. Come on down right. and uh, come be a part of it, and come, come and, and and check. If you've never been to the community little theater, come check this it is out. A great Rumble. way to start, yeah. absolutely. And if you're like, I love this stuff, I would. There's going to be lots of folks from the community little theater that love to tell you more about getting involved, right. whether through it's the the kids arts program, caps, or through mm-hmm. the right. through the actual uh, theater program, and as the adults, and and maybe who knows? Have you guys done auditions and everything for the December play? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Mother Goose is cast. Fully so cast. cast. And, but I imagine yeah. if you want to be involved with the crew and helping with costumes or right. set design, or oh, yeah. they can always use able bodies there right. uh, to get your foot in the door. Right. Um, and 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 that's the beauty of it. If you if you love creating, but you don't want to sing or dance or speak or or do <laughs> right, anything right. on that stage, <clears throat> backstage, lots of lots of stuff. Put it this way: you you can keep very busy without <laughs> belting out one note of anything <laughs> on stage. Uh, you very know, true. sound and lighting, poor Angela. I think is the only one that runs sound and light, so she could use some help there to, to kind of for shows. She's probably tired of doing all the sound. And she was in the last one, so I don't know how you pulled that one off. But We <laughs> had a different sound person. Chris, her husband had Shannon, to do it. Shannon, uh, uh, I don't know his last name, but okay. his, his first name's but Shannon. could probably use some more on the roster there to help right. out with that. And, of course, um, if you love creating, making costumes, and, and someone's telling you to stop making clothes at your house because there's just <laughs> no more bodies to put these on, then come on out to the community little theater. Right. Love to have you do that. Or if you love makeup and costume, right. if, you, if you're busy doing like glamour makeup all day, and it's like, man, I want to, I want to do something crazier. <sighs> community little theater's like, make that guy a gorilla. <laughs> all right, come on. <laughs> or a wolf. Or a werewolf. <laughs> yeah, you know that's that's the uh, that's the so so there's roles for everybody. Right. And come, but uh, come out this weekend. Come out Saturday, whether you come at two o'clock. We're at 7.30. Tickets are still available for either. Um, you can call Lori direct, 575-513-8119. Uh, again, that's 575-513-8119. Or if you want to go, to go online and, and do it yourself, 
That's Enjoy. also the number for golf ball tickets. Oh, yes, if you want to still so get your tickets. if you can't ten, come uh, to the show and you want to contribute, yeah, ten give me a call. Ten dollars uh, to get your tickets. You and can still get Kiwanis a ball. And is having actually a mixer um, at, uh, at Backdraft on oh, the yeah. 15th of November. Yeah, so you want to learn more about And it is going to be a wants. business after hours. Okay. So there will be... Um, a raffle that okay. will take place. So everything that happens at Business After Hours will happen. Yeah. But there will be eats there, too, and there will okay. be some drinks, and you can see what we're about, and we'll have the game on TV. Okay. And it's absolutely free for you to come and check us out. Awesome. Um, and, and then have some delicious barbecue right. from Right. And then so you can, if you just want to know more about the park project, that's fantastic. If you want to see if you want to help us. Um, so it's kind of an open event just so we can get to know more of the community. And because of COVID, we haven't been out there very much as a service group because of that. So this sure. is just a way for you us to reach out. You guys are in the same out. ballpark oh, or same yeah. boat that, uh, yeah. that the community little right. theater is. So that's it's... the 15th at 5.30 at Backdraft. Excellent. So, yeah, come out. Uh, <laughs> you don't even need to RSVP or not. You nope. just show up. And it, and if it's a business after hours, it's kind of come and go. So it yes. starts at 5.30, but if you can't make it till 6.00, that's no fine. problem. Great. Come on down. Um, bring a dollar in your business card. That's what, uh, mm-hmm. what, what Lori right. was talking about. Mm-hmm. The chamber, what they usually do is is if you want, you're not obligated by any way, shape, or form. You bring a dollar and your business card. You put it in the jar. Uh, and then at the end of the night, uh, they'll do a drawing through the business cards. And you win whatever's in whatever's the pot, in the cash is. Could be 20 bucks. Could be 50 bucks. And all could be 100 the business bucks. cards. And then uh, for, for marketing leads and tips and business leads, there's you got a big stack of business cards there. Um um, what nice. I, I've participated, I actually won one time and, uh, the business cards, I'm a DJ, which is helpful for me, but I have, I have much more valuable salespeople here that could use those. So I, I bribed right. them, you know, what are you, what are you going to do for me? I'll give you the stack of cards, but uh, I'm keeping the cash, but, uh. <laughs> Who, who, I came from who wants to be twice. nice to Mike? Who wants to be nice to Mikey to get these cards? And, but, I, uh, and I won twice, and yeah. then it was like, we don't want her to come anymore. <laughs> <laughs> she's 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 a ringer. We can't have her. I'm like, I didn't know. But, um, but it's a beautiful, great opportunity. It's fun. You get to mingle. You get to chit chat. And of course, in this, you get to learn about two things. You get to learn about backdraft, and you get to learn about Kiwanis Club right. uh, that night. So if you want football games on, yeah. So, so if you want to learn more <laughs> about becoming a Kiwanian, uh, that's a great opportunity mm-hmm. too. Always looking for. Uh, more members to be a part of that. Uh, the Kiwanis Club is, um, I mean, they help out with a lot of things, but but their real focus is children. That's kind of, they do a lot of things for, in the schools and stuff like that. Um, hence this all-inclusive park that's for kids. Right. I mean, I guess right. theoretically adult can get on there, but, you know, people are going to look at you funny. Uh, <laughs> Look at me funny, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Uh, I get the, you know, looking at you funny is part of my day. Right. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, definitely come out. Um, if, 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 if anybody has any questions about anything, of course, uh, Qantas Club of Roswell has a Facebook page. Yes, we do. As does the Community and Little Theater. And there's yeah. a website. And there's the website mm-hmm. as well. Uh, if you want to shoot out a question or anything through those forms, no problem. They'll get it out to you. But you can call Lori about any of this stuff we talked about here, whether it's the golf balls or the, right. the Swearing Jim <laughs> Kelly concert or, or a, a Lori contact, knows everything. Or Lori contact knows for Alethea to learn more about Camille Little Bears. You can help no, you with I'll, that too. I'll contact her and go, I'll get back with you. <laughs> yeah. But reach out to her, 575-513-8119, mm-hmm. or you can go to roswelltheater.com. Uh, dot com to go to the website there right. and uh, get tickets for this and learn more about it. What's the Kiwanis uh, Roswell website? Do you know off the top of your I head? I think it's uh, Roswell uh, Kiwanis dot Ka- org. Or yeah, something. and it, you be very careful because there is a Roswell Kiwanis group in Georgia. In Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Meant the NM so, might be trick uh, key right. in there. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. So your best bet when you hit Google, put Roswell NM Kiwanis, and it should right. pop right up. Right, and yeah. there's phone numbers on there and email addresses if you need any any further information. Or as you said, they can call me at 575-513-8119. I happen to be the membership director. <laughs> I only laugh because I was like, I was here six six months maybe, and I'm membership director and on the board. And I'm like, how in the heck did this happen? Sure. I haven't been off since. Because so. you spoke. Because That's right. Because I, spoke. <laughs> because I went, hey, you opened you your mouth. Right. I know Lori enough. Suggestion. I know so Lori enough to know me. that she's not quiet. <laughs> So that's what, what happened. Because <laughs> I'm not quiet either, and I do the same thing. <laughs> I, I thought it was pretty funny. We're, uh, a girlfriend came to take me to my surgery. This is a quick little aside story. And someone else from out of town texted me and said, how are you doing? And I said, you'll never believe this, but my girlfriend is talking so much. I want her just to be quiet. And that comes from someone who loves to talk. I just want it quiet. You know it's bad when you were complaining, right? <laughs> exactly. And he was like, wow. I was like, I know, right? Well, 
And I, and I got a funny feeling, Alethea. Pretty much everybody in the community little theater the same way because there's not a lot of shy people in yeah, community theater. Yeah, just saying. Yeah, Usually it's, a lot it's of hands. pretty much, you know, some that people raise their hand in meetings, but then they just talk. And they're like, you know, because it's, yeah, sometimes it gets pretty hairy in there. Yeah. You have to be like, okay, one person. All right, we need, we need some kind of quorum here, some kind of decorum. We gotta, so everybody no. can be heard. Hold but on. But it's great. It's it's like a family. Again, yeah. you know, <clears throat> joining the Ro- the Roswell Community it's a labor Theater of love. is well, it's it's really like a family. I mean, we know each other. We we hang out together in different places. It's and, more social. You know, it's not yeah, just it is. we're here for theater night. Yeah. It's, it's for yeah. friends. Yeah. So and you have fun. membership as well, don't you? We do have membership. Okay. Um membership is a ten dollars for the year. Nice. And uh that just really helps us pay um insurance for all of our members and uh kind of helps in the bank just a little bit but sure. really it if you want to be a part of any production it's a ten dollar membership fee you got to join the theater in order awesome. to be a part yeah um but it's great it's a lot of fun and we're all about building community conversations and creativity absolutely and and we really want to really be part of the community i, I know for you know the last number of years we kind of have been just kind of on our own and and really trying to get us out there um, well, and, and the COVID didn't help that. <laughs> no, but but even before COVID, yeah. um, the theater was just kind of in focus. And sure. so as as the president, well, I'm trying to get us out. And to be us honest, you guys have a major change in the last, you know, five. I mean, it, it, yeah, it's not an true. easy task to uproot and go to a brand new place that's that true. was not perfectly set up for you to begin with. Right. So, uh, yeah, you, you guys had to go a little inward and say, you know, we got to get our house in order here, right. and now we're ready to, to and It's to difficult. Do You're fighting against, you know, lovely phones, and they can watch anything they want on All YouTube. All kinds of sure. other entertainment. Can... Right, Not right. to mention, so. um, it, it's quite expensive to, I mean, just the theater in itself, the, right. the sound, the lighting, and it everything, is. and I'm guessing it was an old movie theater, so they're... Right. There probably wasn't hardly any of that in there to begin yeah. with. The only thing you had was some seats and a stage, probably, uh, right. and a booth where the replaced. projector was. <laughs> yeah, which you replaced. And the stage wasn't there. Yeah, you think now, you're right. Screen. There was no stage. <laughs> if they had one, it was about two feet or something. Right. right? Yeah, it was really small. You're right. Now I remember yeah. it. But uh, and, and every so, day it sits empty is every day you lose money. Right. Sure. So that's that's the important thing is to keep things going and being so, in front of people right. and you're in front of your community saying we are here. Right. So you I, know, I and working at, with other organizations, which yeah. is, I have to say has been um, relatively easy for me. So don't ever not be president. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have all these ideas and she's like, well, okay, I like that, but. <laughs> Well, and I mean, it's it's you guys have made the investment in the community, really. And right. now it's time for the community to invest back. And, and we do it by mm-hmm. coming out to the mm-hmm. shows this weekend and supporting and coming and being entertained. Come out and have fun. I tell you, if you've never been to a community little theater performance, you're going to have a fun time every yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, the the amount of work and effort that, that the cast and crew put in every time, um, it's, it's – I, I know – if people that have never gone probably get an image of like like the movies with uh you know uh, waiting for Guthrie Christopher Guest uh, what's the uh, not Mighty Wind what was the one they did on the theaters they had a Mighty Wind they had uh, the Best in Show for the dog shows they had I one for, it was waiting for Guthrie was it I thought it was um, same crew I don't know yeah anyway where they make fun of theater <laughs> yeah yes. but anyway they, they think of that and I'm like that's not even close that's yeah. the that's I have the... to tell you like community there's the community theater civic theater professional theater yeah professional regional theater sure. then you get Broadway blah 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 sure and I have a very hard time with community theater because I was my profession for 40 years was live theater gotcha and so I came to one of the shows about a year ago, I'd say, and I brought my roommate who was 29, uh-huh. who was like, okay, we're going to learn about live theater. And so I was ready to go, mm, right? Because it's just, <laughs> if when it's been your profession, sure. it's really hard You're to let go of gonna... some things. And I was very impressed. I thought it was the best community theater I'd ever seen. Mm-hmm. And we came back, I think, two more times. And then I brought some people from Artesia for the fundraiser. Sure. And that's when I was like, hey, I really want to be involved in this. And I have never said that. I have said that <laughs> I need to take a step back from community theater yeah. because of just because I know that it's hard for me. Yeah. But I've really enjoyed this community theater. It's the best I've seen across oh, the country. So well, and I also <laughs> think too, it's um because of the parameters that you have as a community little theater, it 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 can force the product to be better. And what right. I mean by that is if you look at you know, 
Andrew Lloyd Webber, this guy's got millions of dollar budget and to do right. these things right. and all this. You guys have hundreds of dollar of a budget <laughs> right. if that. And uh, yeah. most of that probably gets eaten up with licensing yeah. and song, all that kind of yeah. stuff. But in essence, to, to, to achieve what the guy that got a, paid a million dollars to make for you to recreate here in the community little theater forces you guys to almost be better. And what I mean yeah. by that mm -hmm. is you've got to be creative. I can't afford Very. the budget to make that scene that this guy did, right. but I got to right. make it just as believable. Right. So the creativity comes in, the yeah. thinking outside of the box, the problem solving, the, the yeah. camaraderie, the fun part. That's, and you see that in every performance, you see the folks that, that, that are, are doing, and that's, and to me, that almost puts out a better product because it's all passion. It's and all that's fun. even with bringing yeah. the professional group. I mean, we had to go outside the box to get mm -hmm. the we did. silent auction things. We had to go outside the box to go, hey, we want to do Taste of Roswell. We mm -hmm. want to, and then we will be promoting your place of business right. as well as helping us. And all we need is this. Instead right. of providing right. this whole meal, how about if you give us this? Right. And so I, I think. The, we oh, asked four cool. places, and four places said yes. No one said no. That's great. No one grumbled that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> it was all, you know, it was all really well done, and sure. I think it's because they respect the they respect the community theater, mm -hmm. and they wanted to make make it work, and they want to help out, and so it's it's helped with this project as well to bring in professional shows. Yeah. So. Yeah. So come support it. That's yeah. all you. That's yeah. all we're asking you to do. You got the easy part. Come out and, and sit down and have a come show. And you want to make a, a donation? Right. You make know, it, please just get a hold of yeah. the theater and do or it the that Kiwanis way. Or both. And, yeah. Or get a hold of Kiwanis. I mean, I think if you go are... to the Kiwanis website, there's a, do a donate now button on there, right. isn't there? So there you can is. you can do it yes. that way if you prefer. Right. To be a little theater, I don't think you have we, one. We have a donate button. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then hit it and hit it early, hit it often. And, so if you uh, can't come and you wanted to support, I mean, tickets are $28, donate $28 or $40 sure. for the VIP, or if what you want to give is $10, I mean, everything for both Every projects that will help. Yeah, yeah. And we really appreciate it. And we're going to hopefully continue to do things like this as a partnership. Right. So. Yeah, that's great. That's great to see yeah. it. So uh, all we're waiting for is the fun part is doing it now. Right. So come on right. Saturday. Yeah. Uh, again, reach out uh, to Lori if you'd like to get a golf ball for the golf ball drop, which will take place Saturday morning, uh, or if you want to get tickets to either the 2 p.m. or 7.30 p.m. showing of uh, the Simon and Garfunkel concert with Swearingen and Kelly. Again, 575-513-8119. That's Lori's number. You'll you'll get Lori. You won't mm -hmm. get Lori's secretary or anything. <laughs> <You'll get Lori. laughs> no, and, you get uh, me. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> unless, she, unless she's like, like in the chair or something, someone else answers her phone. It was but, funny because I've had several later. people call that know me, and they're like, we would like to buy tickets for the fundraiser. <laughs> and I can see who it is right yeah. on my phone. So I'm like, hello, so-and-so. They like, turn their oh, professional you. voice on you. <laughs> All your friends turned on their professional voice. Exactly. And like, like, Stop it. I know who this <laughs> is. Don't be acting like you know what you're doing. I don't know what's going on. Oh, That's funny. But, uh, yeah, so call her. She'll get uh, get you set up. Uh, but if you uh, want to just go and do it yourself, go online, roswelltheater.com. And you can walk in that day as well. If you decide at the last minute, things sure. change and you can come. Then fantastic. Right. But, we'll have some tickets. But VIP may not. VIP so. may be sold out, and you never know. What if, if everyone buys tickets between now and, and Saturday? If everyone in both I'd groups away, would buy away. a ticket, we would be doing fantastic. So yeah. if you're a Kiwanian right. or you're part of the Roswell, Roswell Community Low Theater and you haven't purchased your ticket or you can't be here, it'd be great if you donate the money that you would spend on a sure. ticket. We could so. pay it forward, let someone else sit in that seat. Exactly. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, I have someone in Indiana that bought two tickets. And she wants me to find two people to fill them that would enjoy the show. Yeah. Because she believed enough in the park. And so. to be honest, if someone's listening and they're like, oh, I'm a big Simon and Garfield, but I don't have $28, reach out. Call out and say, "If you, I, I would love to do this and, and uh, whatever. And, and I'm sure Lori and them we'll would be happy to, to make that happen for you here. Um, because we'd hate to, to give you an opportunity and, and $28 is what's stopping you. Because right. that, that doesn't have to be. Um, and, and if you love what's going on, maybe we'll put you to work for some stuff later on. That's maybe right. You volunteer. You volunteer. That's right. We don't have dishes to do, work but we got something else we yeah, can do. Yeah, we're going to that ticket. <laughs> Although, you guys snack a lot. Maybe there will be some dishes in the back. We do snack a lot. Uh, is there anything we missed? Anything we want to make sure we, we share with folks, or did we get it all? 
I think I, we did. I think we got we got yeah, most of it. Yeah. 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 I mean, like if I said, not, just keep your eyes and ears open because yeah. we're hoping we have more partnerships more in the future. More shows coming. And 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 uh, this is a little farther on the horizon, but uh, the talent showcase. Santa's right? talent, talent show is show coming is back. Coming back. Look for here it too. Look for it here in December as well. But be yep. starting about thinking about your acts and your put right. and what you want to do now. Right. Um, I ain't gonna lie. There's a lot of people with talent in town. You got to bring your a game because uh, <laughs> there's some talented. To talented adults and kids. And then that, Kiwanis uh, is coming. doing a dinner dance in January. There is no date yet, and it will be a fundraiser for the park. But it will cool. be actually, a, we will have birthday cake because it will be our 101 nice. year because we didn't get to celebrate 100. So when I have more information about that, you can come to the dinner dance or you can come just to the dance park. Is there official so. cake flavor for your 100th birthday? You know, like weddings have silver right. and anniversary. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I know the cake will be blue and gold because that's our okay. colors. But that's all I can tell you. Well. <laughs> Well, if you want to go trendy, you go red velvet. But red velvet. <laughs> trendy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate Thank it. You. We'll see you here next time. Thanks, Mike.